All right, first video of the day. So let's check out Chainlink. Um, most of my altcoin analysis is going to be very similar today, simply because if I come over to the Bitcoin dominance, you can see we've got a huge amount of volume coming in and we're coming back up to the 200 day moving average. So um, this could definitely mean even if we have a fake out for the next few days, maybe even the next week, obviously we've got the Super Bowl coming in tomorrow. So there's going to be huge volume coming in for Bitcoin, in my opinion, at least in the short term. You can see basically every time we kind of come up to this uh, 200 day moving average, we normally get at least a couple of days of solid rallies. If we come back, you can normally see if we do eventually stay up above the 200 day moving average then your altcoins are just going to get absolutely destroyed against bitcoin so let's go over to Chainlink. but yeah just do keep this in mind we are running into the 200 day moving average we could completely fall off the table so this this is scenario one where we kind of pump up and your altcoins get decimated for the next week uh, you've also got this scenario we just completely get rejected and we could have a major alt rally but in my opinion, with the Super Bowl ads coming up, I do think Bitcoin is going to break through this and altcoins are going to bleed, uh, especially against Bitcoin. Now, we'll start on the link against Bitcoin pair. You can you can see that link against Bitcoin is, is basically on its deathbed right now, um, at least for this somewhat micro high. But you can obviously see if we do zoom out, we are just keep we are repetitively getting uh, lower, lower highs and well this we're technically back testing these these lows from back here so um we're, we're basically making lower highs and bleeding sideways so uh, if you see here i mean we are basically fighting with the bottom of this channel i do believe if we go below uh the 39672 on here that we are going to create new lows and uh, looking at this realistically, the only next level I see for this is down here at the 1.618. So from where we are now, you could see Chainlink uh, decrease about 10% against Bitcoin. But obviously, if we come over to the Link USD pair, I mean, it looks it looks very emmy on this pattern and um, on this chart. And what I mean by that is you can just see these rolling over highs, it's emming out, which is not good. Obviously, Ws like this is a bullish pattern and M's like this is obviously the inverse and it's very bearish. So we're basically just really rolling, rolling downhill, excluding, well, yeah, excluding this little pump here. But I mean, you could just argue this was one M and then we've got another M here. We've got another M here. So I don't really want to draw too many lines on the chart. Let me get rid of all that. Uh, lots of selling volume coming in on the daily RSI got stuck at the mid at the heart line at 50 and it's now turning down which makes me think we're going to come and back test this low down here from where we are that's another 32% drop for chain link so let's see if the weekly says anything different a lot of a um, lot of selling volume stepping in on the weekly RSI doesn't look healthy it just looks like it's kind of kind of um, rolling over so if if I'm wrong, Chainlink would really need to reverse today or tomorrow at the absolute latest. But for what I'm seeing, I mean, uh, most of my altcoin analysis is going to be very similar today. But a lot of these altcoins are just um, excluding SLP because SLP's had quite a quite a mad rally. But we'll get to that later. But a lot of these altcoins are just going down, excluding excluding CRO as well. But you can see Matic had this uh, bull flag that's breaking down uh fida is is breaking down as well so yeah um what to look for now for chain link let's see if we come back to the daily candles i mean i, I reckon we've gone through the 618 of this micro move here so if we take this move to here you can see our 618 is down here at 1588 so if you did want to have a little bit of hopium, then um, this this would be the last line that we need to hold, which is a 6% decrease from now. So if we don't turn up at the 618 and start, you know, breaking up, then I do see us coming down another 32% for Chainlink. So yeah, that's really all I'm seeing for Chainlink today. Once again, none of this is financial advice. It's just my opinion on the market. And you've always got to do what's best for you. Peace.